Your wife called Zach. Then again, we can take the drum. My wife called? What time is it? Noon? Um. 1209. Heather, will you let my wife know what we're doing? Time by loading the cables up and having a <laughs> Yeah, hand feeding the drums, not fun. So, this one has a hundred feet of cable. It's called the magnet, it's a, they call it double wound uh, inner core magnum cable. And there's two wire wraps each time they go around with it. So it makes a nice stiff, uh, stiff cable. Again, we're going to be using. So it's the same feeder pretty much, right? It's the same, we can use the same feeder for all machines. Uh -huh. so this one's going to be set, this is 5.5, five, uh, 5 eighths or 5.5, five, five, they call it, or half inch or 5.5. Five, five. So you always want it at 5.55 five, five, five on each side. 5.55? Yeah, 0.55. Which is, we're talking inches? Yeah, it's technically, it's just a fraction over half inch. Yeah, yeah, it should be 5.0. Yeah, 5.0. So it's a decimal. Yep. They have a lot of guys using this cable now because with our 5 8 cable, you can only get 75 feet in the drum, and then you're forced, almost forced to buy a second drum. Right. So again, you we're got, not talking that much difference in size. No, we're not really. Eighth inch between half inch and right, half inch and five eighths, only eighth inch. It's just a, and then those are those wires are single wire wrap, but these are or a double wire wrap with an inner core inside of it. So again, you got your four reverse back here. Okay. This is your your air switch. This is your uh, this is your wiring coming off your motor. Motor to your control. Yep. And, and some power. And then the other ones, your your uh, yeah your GFI cord going into the motor. Okay. They're going to the box, I should say. So they're all they're all sealed, and they, they got like a compression fitting on them, so they shouldn't go anywhere. Gotcha. And then you got stair climbers on here for going upstairs. Gotcha. Um, I think that's about it on that, in the front of it, in the back of it. So this will sound a little bit different when you run it. That's full speed right there. And is it adjustable by your foot? It's adjustable by your by the handle. So this is the same speed no matter what. Right. Yeah. It's go or stop. Yeah. Not very good. No, no, it's all it's all full, it's all full, full out speed. You're only controlled by the, by the, by the hand part of it. And this is going in that bend. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. yep. so what we do is we get the inner drum in the machine and, and the reason why we uh the reason why well, we have that arm is we, it shoots hand. the cable when i'm loading this machine up the cable's being it's 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 going against the wall of the drum and it's going up layer 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 and another layer that's where that cable's supposed to stay it's the outside of the drum gotcha when the cable comes to the inside of the drum that's when you got problems because it's gonna it's gonna want to shoot out it's gonna shoot out of the drum and you would know that by looking guy in here yeah it, it, if it was wrapped if it was wrapped around here tight mm -hmm. then you may have to pull it out and, and stretch it out and bring it back again but you can but that but that's the whole idea with the with the machine is that without it without an inner drum your wire when it when it starts to collapse when it starts getting under torque the first thing it wants to do is it collapses and then it goes it wants to shoot right straight out gotcha. grab you by the arm or whatever broke my hand yeah did it really mm -hmm. so that's why with both of our machines the cable tends to ride on the outside of the drum which is safer okay. for one thing and it also keeps the cable from uh, from falling up in the drum and then with the clutch there's both there was a clutch on the, on the other one as well so if I if I ran into like with that I can't do it with this machine but if I took my glove hand and tried to stop that machine with all the all the pressure I could put on it I could stop the drum but the clutch would still be turning back there 
So in other words, you've stopped it to the point where it's not going to snap that cable. Gotcha. And that's that's the whole reason behind the clutch. Now with this one, you got more variety of stuff to to use for uh, cutting tools. There's a two foot leader, which is a little bit flex more flexible. And I I realized the other day that it's it's not a good idea. Some guys do this, and this is how they have problems: is they, they get lazy and they put that leader on and they leave it on and they try to run it back in the machine so they don't have to get it out of the box next time. What happens is this knuckle, this knuckle right here, gets caught like right in about in the center, right in the middle of that, and then it doesn't want to pull out. And that's why guys have problems. So I'm going to tell you straight off, I and mean, it might take a little bit longer to do it, but each time you get done, take your leader off and put it in your toolbox. You'll be you'll be that much further ahead because I. I just tried it yesterday. I ran it back in there, and I had a heck of a time getting that thing out. And the feeder wouldn't even take it out. And I finally I jerked it out. And I, I said, if I'm having a problem, you're gonna have a problem. So yeah. the years ago, they used to always take their leaders and put them in a the toolbox. Now guys are lazy and they run them all the way in. And then when they get old and stuff like that, they, they like I said, that knuckle gets caught in that arm. And then they, and then what happens too is now the cable's starting to ball up inside the drum. So it'll just make it that much easier when you're done. Just put it put it back. Okay. But I'll show you how this connects. First, I'll show you some of the latest um, assemblies that we have for it. So the leader is always used. Um, well, I would use I would use it just, just for the fact that it gives you another foot or two too as well. Gotcha. Um, I think it's going to be a little bit more flexible than the, than the actual cable, so it'll help you get around bends and turns. We do make a couple that you can put right off the end of the cable and use a blade and blade holder, but as long as you've got a leader, you might as well use it. So, let's get in here real quick. The three inch. Okay, so I'm missing one blade right here. Oh, it's over here. I'll start with the smallest blade that we make. This is called the two inch blade holder, two, two and a half inch blade holder. Mm -hmm. And that will accommodate these two blades, the, the, the two inch and the two and a half. That's the, the two most common blades most guys use. Yeah. But to show you how that works on there. And what would be the reason to use a bigger one? Well, unless you're in like a gigantic line. And years ago, we used to make a bigger machine and the toolbox carried all these bigger blades. I don't. Just going by what I sell, I mean, I sell occasionally some of these, but 90% of the time I sell these and maybe maybe a three inch. So these things got a two, two and a half, three, three and a half, four. Right. Is it half increments? Uh, yeah, there's, there's two, two and a half, three, and three and a half of those type blades. That's the brand, like, P blade, and then the like, pair blade. There's three, four inch, and there's also a spear blade. Okay, we have a four. And then, God forbid, you never want to use this, but it's a retriever for okay. re actually retrieving if there's something in that hole. Right. And we have a camera, so we can kind of hopefully see what's going on if we can get the water out of the line. Well, that's why I always feel like it's better to use. The to use a smaller blade when you don't know what you're getting into because you can always go bigger right, right. And if you go too big you may not get it back out of the drain again but you now people like uh like rescue rooter and people like that that's the mostly what they use the two two and a half and three inch gotcha they're there to poke a hole in your stuff for you yeah and tell you something else right so the blade holder just slides you know you put the shallow in and it sits right on the hex of it Okay, just like that, and then you put your uh, your blade on. See that hex in there, like the hex of the fitting. Yeah. So then you put your blade on, and your uh, flat washer, star washer, your blade, or um, nut. Dirt in that thing. Is that the 
just right nut. I might have had a nut sitting right Oh, there. you have a nut sitting here? Oh, well, not on purpose, but I think it's the right one. There's your probably the nut. Let's see, that's single? This is a... Oh, I, just, I thought that was one of mine. Yeah, that's a 3 8 by 16. Ah, I wonder it wouldn't fit. <laughs> I didn't realize. I thought that was one I of noticed nut. it when I saw you grab it. I was like, I'm thinking he's grabbing the wrong nut right there. I'll hide it. What's, what's, up? what's the odds of that happening? All right. Well, the odds in my yard, fuck, there's all types of shit, right? I had to run the damn metal thing. I picked up like 16 screws yesterday. Like, that's not good. We're going to get flat tires. Yeah. There it goes. So, you get a little handy tool for that to tighten it down with. That's key, right? Put a little Spartan symbol on it. Yeah. And just get it good and snug. Should suck up to that nut pretty much, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Like that. I don't have that on right. I can see right now. Yeah, that's what I was going to do. Let me back that off real quick. Crooked, man. Mm. Is it? Inside? Yeah, it is. I well, hope they didn't uh, mess up that fitting on there. Center. You know, the gap's a little off. It's just a mold issue. Yeah. I, can, I can fix that if I have to. There we go. I got one. Got one that working? I got a winner. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> I have to talk to Spartan and be like, what yeah. the heck, man? There we go. Perfect. But I had two of the whole them. center too. So yeah. It's just a weird. You know, it's weird too. Look at it. It's almost like it was molded crooked. Can I see this one real quick? Mm -hmm. Does that look straighter to you? No. Yeah, it's definitely in the center. Oh yeah, yeah. That one's just a. Well, when they drilled it out, they had the jig, but it was just slightly weird, off yeah. or something. Yeah. He grew up in a machine shop. Luck luckily, I had one. And... <laughs> That that shouldn't have been from my batch because that's when it came with a toolbox. So anyway, I put the uh, what do I have, a two-inch blade, uh, three-inch blade. I do that. Oh, that I mean, I took it with me over there. I'll mean, catch it. So the two inches is the smallest one you can put on there. Like I said, you can use a two and a, you can use a two and a half on here as well. I go down to Marshall's Hardware in San Diego and I can have all this stuff. Yeah, a bunch of fake stuff on. Another place good is a uh, Baba Bolt. Baba. A, a Baba Bolt. There's one in right by San Marcos there. Oh, okay. They have like every nut or bolt you ever need. Oh, that's better. So 
now I'm going to show you how to attach that. Uh, let's put some of this back. I'll get it. <coughs> Here, I'll get it. The only one, they're all uh, one piece except for the big one, right? <coughs> yeah, and I'll go, you know what? While I've got you here, I better, I better show you that, how that one works, though, too. Perfect. Take that off one second. So now that's one for two and two and a half, that brass piece. Right. And then this Perfect. is. I'll, from... show you, I'll show you with a. Uh... Oh, you guys have told you a little guide. They've got a double mail coupling that they call us. So this is what they call a double mill coupling. So like if we were gonna, if we we're gonna use this right off the end of the cable mm -hmm. instead of a leader, we could do it. We could make it. We could make up a blade and blade hole this way. Without the leader. Mm -hmm. So what you need for that one is for the three. We'll use the three inch. But you put the blade in first. Gotcha. Then you put your insert piece in, okay, and then that one you just have a washer nut. They don't, I don't think they, they don't come with a flat washer for that one. Just a friction washer. Mm -hmm. Now, if you wanted to set up something like this and leave it in your toolbox, what you would do is you would just take your you would take your uh, leader off. And this will hook up right on the very end. Almost like a beveled edge, and then you're doing your drop pin again? Yeah. Yep. Oh, I can see where I'm at here. And then you'll put your pin in. It's a little bit bigger, but you'll put your, put your uh, expansion pin in there, and you can go right up. That one. Did you say there was an expansion pin tool? Yeah, there is. There's a punch. And I'm going to leave you some extra pins. The punch is in here. That's and just done with a hammer? Yes. Mm -hmm. And there's extra pins. There's some extra couplings for you. I doubt you'll probably ever use, but you may. That'll give you a lot of extra long mail like for your leader. You should talk to Spartan about making a, uh, a pin into like a uh, like a chain link. You know how they make the chain link attachment? Mm -hmm. Just screw it in. That'd be kind of cool. That'd be, that'd be a good idea. I'll have to sell it to Spartan. <laughs> but right now, so we can look at your stainless. It's right underneath here. It's that, so you got something to hammer to. Hammer to. And then I'm going to do punch this time around. And then you need to get these pins. I'll probably give you some extra of these pins because they're easy to lose. They're small. I'm sure. So each length of the cable that you got here right now is a 50 foot section and then it's connected with a male to female coupling and a pin and then there's another 50 foot section and it's connected to a 5 foot anchor cable that's in the back. So you've got 5 foot, 50 and 50. So 5 foot is the anchor just like you did with the mounting yeah, the an the an yeah, the anchor. Yeah, the anchor's already so in there. you take 50 feet out of this thing? Is that what you're saying? Well, the idea of the, the idea of the anchor cable is if you ever had to add add tr cable to your to the drain that you're doing, you go out your hundred feet, you disconnect it, you still got your you know you leave your five foot in there, you grab another you, you grab your other cable, hook on to that five foot, and it's it like, additional. Does it look just like this? Yes, okay. exactly like that. But like you said, there's a fifty, a fifty, and a five. So if we wanted to make this thing wider and only do fifty, we can take fifty foot out. You could, out. you could actually, yeah. But we're not, it's just not normal, right? Well, it's just, you, you run the risk of not being able to cable it. You, you need better, better having too much than not enough. <laughs> you need yeah. something 56 feet away, you got to <laughs> yeah. that's, that's the only thing. Got it. Yep. 
But, but yeah, technically you can. So we're gonna we're gonna hammer the pin in right now. These are getting smaller and smaller, so they're a little. <laughs> I can really be to the point where I have to. If it'll bevel this a little bit better too, I think it'd be better. I got it. So that's that's what it's gonna be like when you're running the jump run the job. Yeah. And um, I think after you take these out a few times too, they'll probably get a little bit easier to get in. Right in and out. And, and then uh, when you're when you're done, when you're, when you're, this is to start your job. When you're done with your job, you just go ahead and punch it out. It the nice thing about that, your pins go in here. Right. So you don't lose them. But I highly recommend putting that leader in the toolbox because like I said you're gonna have a problem with this where this connects right here when you get it when you get it all the way up it's right it's about in here and it messes it up yeah. and you can't get the move. Gotcha. So like I said these are same for two and two and a half. Um that flat blade holder is right here. That's for like the three and the three and a half. Because we've got for those two? Yeah that's the third Big one. Yeah, that's for the that's for the wider wider blades. And then the little two inch one. And the two inch ones on is, is the one that's on here. What do you got on there, right? Mm -hmm. And that's just two two and a half. Right. Two two and a half. Yeah. So we'll put one of these one of these two blades. And then um, the other the spear blade would would the spear blade would actually thread right on the end of the. You take this off and you you spear it right on the end without the brass. Right. Gotcha. What I what I do is I put I take one of those nuts uh -huh. and put it ahead and kind of jam it against the nut. Okay. And the only, the only thing you, time you risk losing that is if you run it in reverse. Right. The machine in reverse. Right. Yeah. Because the forward is tightening it down to it. Right. And some guys like these if there's concrete in the line or plaster or something like that, they're just trying to punch a hole through it. Yeah. And then like I said, the retriever goes on the same way. It threads right on the end. Right. And then and again I would just use a jam nut. Basically, it locks in with this pin right here. Mm -hmm. when, you get, when you get ready done, you just pull that pin out, and it'll come, it'll come up. Gotcha. Pin set. Yeah. And then you, this is you, you say you can put the you this can side move, in. Yeah. this back, and then pick it up from the back and the back. Yeah. Slide it in. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. A lot easier than trying to deadlift it. <laughs> yeah. Just half of it's the wheels doing right. Right. Because like like when I have somebody help me with these, we make a bigger machine than this one yet. If I can get that guy on the handle, I, I, even though I, I'm picking up the heavy end, I just, it doesn't feel as bad when somebody's got this leverage yeah. on that other end. I had a wench in my truck. Did you? Mm-hmm. You got one in this truck. Oh, yep. <laughs> yeah, I didn't get one, unfortunately, until I had back problems. <laughs> <laughs> you're all, hey, you guys are killing me. <laughs> I went for years without one. <laughs> yeah, that'll, that works right in there, too. That'll be cool. So you're dealing with a little bit more power here, running a little bit faster, so you're going to be more attentive to what's going on. Yeah, like I said, we don't do that many few little jobs, right? If you, uh, on yeah. both Who knows, we have big job stuff now, maybe we'll do big jobs. Some of these jobs that you do, you're going to pick up uh, water in the drum. Mm -hmm. um, it's more of a, you know, you definitely want to make sure you drain that one. That's a steel drum, this is an aluminum drum. But if you look right here, we've got these little, you can pull this, bring it down to the bottom and drain it. Any, you know, drain any water you got in there or something like that. Gotcha. Just build up the water in there.
Your wife just called again. Hmm? Your wife called again. Good thing you asked that question anyway, because there's a special way that that's got to sit on here with these, with these little plate right here. Okay. So obviously, we don't have a blade on it right now, so it's going to slide right off. Yeah, I can do that. I better, I better leave it in Florida. The guy's gonna go out and say it doesn't work. <laughs> I'm gonna call you right away, man. You're seeing if it doesn't work, bro. So this is about 85 pounds right here. That's what the clutch looks like. Okay, so this is the two notches that we're Yeah, it sits right in here. Right. Does it look the same on the street? On exactly the, the same. So you got two notches mm -hmm. and two holding areas. Gotcha. So this would be the this would be the heaviest part of it right here. It's probably about 85 pounds. So if they want to, they can actually take it apart and put it in the, uh, in the vehicle, huh? Yeah. The only thing you the only thing you, if you want to take it apart in the vehicle, you're going to store it that way. Store it upright. Don't like store this? it. Yeah. Don't store it on the shaft. Not on the back. Yeah, because that shaft is a press shaft. So if enough weight comes down on that thing, if you force the shaft up, now your clutch is going to come off. So if you got, or or if you got like a tire or something, yeah. you could, or, anything will cushion or it. Or so like a piece of plywood with a hole yep, in the middle. Yep, yep, yep. I'll have guys that'll they lost their clutch or they can't get their retainer on it because they, they dropped it enough times on that shaft. They push that shaft up and up where it didn't hold the clutch. There's a retainer holding that clutch on right now. Holding that part. <coughs> and there's another retainer in the head of it. So. But they're designed that you can take them apart. You know when you're in there, when there's a problem. Like if the cable was balled up in there right now, we couldn't get it out. We would take that clutch off. We would take both retaining rings off. And then what I would do, I would turn this drum until the cable lined up right here. And then I would pull the whole inner drum right out. Because now you got enough room. You got enough room from here. And the cable's passing through here. And pass right through and back in. Now you get the cable out of it. That's why we put that. You take this part to see three. No, you never, never mess with those. You, know, mm -hmm. you just take this part of that. Yep, that, and there's another retaining ring ahead of that one. Uh -huh. And then you, there's a little, little brass cushion, and out it comes. Okay. Hopefully, we'll never have to do that. Let's hope. Yeah, I, I, I do it. And then the best way to do it, the best way to put this in here so you know it's going to drop in right, just lay it on its back because if everything's covered back there because it's inside that little plate right here. Because actually, the, the, uh, the, stair, the stair climbers are protecting it. This way, because it's, because it's so heavy, because when you drop it, I'll let you put it in there so you know how it drops in. You do it when it's done like that? Location? Yep. Mm -hmm. It's just easier to do. Gotcha. It's harder to line up when you... So just get it close. And then, when we get it close, then we can, kind of, we can rotate it. There it goes. Now it's got to go one more yet. So you're, you're going to be just about right even with that bush meat right here. That's right it. even with that upper brass. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You feel it kind of going twice. And then you can drop it down. Yeah, put your hand on it like that just so it doesn't go forward. Like that. And it did. Believe it or not, it did that. I can see it back here. There it is. So it's in the middle of that brass. Yeah. So now it should be. Now it should be on there. Right. You, can, you, can, you can actually see if it's not on there back here. The, the nuts all when it was off you'll see that it moved ahead gotcha so now we're going to put that feeder back on so if you can do it on if you can do it where it's level it, it makes it a little bit easier but the reason why i tell you to do it on, on its back if you try to put that drum in and line it up when it's sitting up you're, like you're gonna have a hell of a time getting it <laughs> yeah just the weight of it the weight of it yeah it sets it in place you can always take your top finger and move this top bearing it runs freely gotcha So on the bottom, you see that half moon or half kind of like a half moon shape. Yep. That's got to sit in that bushing. Okay. That's what, that's what keeps it in line. So what you do is you you get it 
to where you, feel, where you feel it, it's flat. It's not up on either side. Okay. Now we can bring those swing bolts up. If for some reason you can't, if it's up on one side or the other, it's not in that brass bushing. And that's what keeps the drum from coming forward. Mm -hmm. I'll just give it a little tight. You probably won't be changing it that much, but you're not changing the drum, so. tension if you do like a heavy duty. Oh, the other thing too is when you're done, when you're all done, the mm -hmm. last thing you want to do is re release that. Always release it? Yeah, because what happens is guys, guys leave them all the way down and eventually that spring stays in that position. Pretty soon they've got to go further and further and the next thing you know they're busting the bearing because it's, 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 it's so you can just release this, this you know, tension for that. It's, Now I got your phone number. <laughs> well, because of the fact you're not changing drums, unless you're going unless you're going to store the drums separately. In fact, you're not changing drums all the time. That's where guys get goofed up because they when they put that second drum in, sometimes they don't always lock it in the same way, mm -hmm. or you know, something's off the single bed. So you can just store it on its back inside then. You can, yeah. Once you get all the get the cords on, that's that the cord from the inside. I kind of like Daddy's cords on the inside. Now this one, the only thing is that this one, they don't give you the double, I don't know why that is. Um, just for hanging it with. What I do is I just go, I go around here with it. And obviously, if, if you don't have to have it sitting out in the sun, because this, this rubber will dry out. And if it's not being unused, you'll have some shade somewhere, I'm sure. Yeah, in the truck, or in the garage. You know, That's got a GFI on it? Yes, it does. So when you plug it in, you got to push the button? No, it's automatic. It's automatic. Yeah, it's automatic. But if, it, if, it, if it ever, and, and this doesn't draw enough power to knock out a circuit breaker, but for some reason if it ever did, you could reset it here, but I think it only draws like 5 amps or something like that. Or, no, it's not bad. Yeah. This is a standard plug. 4.4 4. 4 amps. So when you get into water jetters, like these little water jetters, that's what that's what you gotta be careful. Those things draw like 15, 20 amps from that. Man. Little electric motors. say one thing, they're working with probably one of the safest machines you can buy. Yeah? Um, because it's almost along with being well built, but they're also one of the safest ones. Due to the clutch or? Well, the clutch and the fact that you don't have an open cage drum, that's, that's a danger too, those open cage drums. That is danger because of it coming out or? Oh yeah, if one of those cables ever broke inside, you know, or if the guy's, if the guy's working around and he accidentally got his hand too close to that drum. More smooth. No to really get caught up. No. You can charge a little bit more too, though. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> no. You let the you know just let the unit do its job. If, you know when you, you know, listen, again listen to the motor. When the motor starts to when both the motor and the drum start to slow down. More so the drum. You're ready to back it off and let it pick up speed. Sometimes it happens so fast, that's why with the 100 machine, it happens so fast that sometimes the feeder can't react fast enough. That's why if a guy's into something that's really tough, I recommend taking the feeder off and having your hands right, your glove hands ready to pull it back. Right, quickly. Back, back quickly. Back quickly. Back quickly. Back quickly. Gotcha. Just tell yeah, the guys, you know, the feeder doesn't do the thinking for you. You gotta still do the thinking. Now all that does is drive it. Just gives you a little extra. Yeah. Which, yeah, so which it's nice when you're coming back. You don't have to be doing this. <laughs> yeah, I can pretty much tell them. Like, 
Um, but, but more so on that one because the cable's first. smaller. Yeah. yeah. So he gets used to it at least, yeah. you know? Because some people think that you can only use it for a feeder. And that's not true. You just back the knob off and it's free for you feeder. So right, you're just doing it by yeah. hand. Yeah. My first machine didn't have a feeder. Yeah, it was all hand feeding. Right? Yeah. I still sell quite a few of these about the feeder, the small about the feeder. So in other words, I'm spoiling it. Yep. Well, is, that's it, good. is it just one guy that's going to have it? Just one guy, yeah. You know, he'll probably do all right because where I have problems is shops where we have a lot of guys. They just, they, that's where I have all the, all the problems. They get sent out with no training. And then they get sent out with machines that are already screwed up before they, before they get them. Right. Because the next, last guy didn't tell them they screwed it up. Right. And then he screws it up even more. <laughs> and the last guy. Yeah. Yeah, because he doesn't want to get in trouble. Right. <laughs> yeah. so I, I, have, I have one guy. I have better luck with, with one or two guys using the machine. That's why I called him. Because you've been getting some calls lately, right? I have. Yeah, our last guy, like I said, our last guy had his own equipment. So, and I'm wondering on the toolbox, just tell the guy, just for right now, until he gets used to it, just to stick to those two small blades. Right now, like that. Yeah. I'll tell him if he needs to use any bigger ones, small ones. Yeah. At least we can ask him, you have him ask him why you need, why you think he needs bigger blades. Yeah. yeah. I mean, probably the most all-around blade, is, most guys use probably the two. Your, your cable, like I said, it's, it's going like this, and, and so it's covering a bigger path than two and a half. Yeah. And when you get those big, big blades in there, and they catch on something, you know, it's, it's, a few, it's going to take a few seconds before it happens, but you're going you're gonna to realize that machine's coming to a stop, or it's going to snap the cable from it. Right. I would rather make have to make two trips down that drain than go down with too big a blade and break it and have to dig the, you know, dig the pipe up. Right. Yeah, and the good thing is, if you use a little, if you can pop the hole, you can only send the camera down and see what's going on. Right, right. At least then you're like, no, it's fucking cast iron, you're screwed. Right. Like if you got a, a fitting that's off or something. Offset, yep. Um, and you put that bigger one in there, it's gonna get it's either gonna do damage or it's gonna fuck it up. Yep. I think that's about it. Well, that is cool. Do these things have a warranty? Yeah, there's a, a one year warranty on a machine. One year warranty on both machines? Probably the only thing you're going to replace. Unless you treat it like shit. Yeah, well, the only thing you're going to replace from time to time is cables. And it might be, if, if, that, if that air blowing hose is exposed to a lot of sun and heat all the time, they might, they might be three, four years over, they might start to leak. You have to replace that. What's that that would leak? The, the air blowing hose, if they're, if they're out in the, you know, if you get a pin. Oh, the, the air, air switch. Air yeah. switch. Yeah. That's probably easy to repair anyway, though. Oh, yeah. Yeah, get a hose. Mm -hmm. Same type of thing. <coughs> We sell them, and I, I got I got one customer. He buys these uh, lots of clear plastic hose. I think he bought it at the Napa or something. Like a Hergo. He swear, he says after I put one of those on her, I said never, I never use one again. That thing is so tough that it just it never leaks and it never break. It never, it never put it doesn't break down or anything. Yeah. They got some good ones like the Herco braided hoses. Kind of a, yeah, yeah. That's like a, that clear one. It's got a braided inside. It's got a little. It's like a braided inside liner. Get right to it. Oh, yeah. That's cool. Let's see if I can break my back putting it in the garage.